is good to be back out here on Aurora Shores in Way the Hunter, finally for the first time, I believe, since the patch to fix the oversized elk racks and stuff like that. But the fixation on trying to get a five-star caribou continues, and I think we've got some kind of decent genetics up this creek. So there's one here, a two-star mature that actually looks kind of promising. I don't know if two-star matures ever make it, but this is an uneven one-star young. So we'll probably start off by taking that, and then at some time fairly soon, I do want to go and look at the elk racks. So that's going to take that guy. Bit of an odd animation there, but going to get the job done with the 270. And at least in theory, taking out another one that's not going to contribute to our goal of getting a 5-star. Double lung at 150 yards, and even that is like a 64%, and he's an uneven 1-star young, so we know that he's not like a future 5-star. But it's fairly encouraging, I think. When the ones that we're calling are 60 plus percent, I noticed as well, there's another herd up there with like a really gray looking male. So we may go and investigate that, because I don't think he's that big. Might be worth trying to get him too. So he's a two star mature and like an old mature at that. If he was still a younger two star mature, we'd leave him, but I don't think he's getting any bigger than that. So probably he's not really high, genetic potential, so we'll try to get him. That angle is a little bit odd, but I think the 270 can do it. In fact, whatever we hit, drop them in his tracks. So I think that's going to be contributing to the overall herd genetics, even if he's a little bit higher than, say, that 64% for the first one. Because I will say, despite the fact that we haven't had as much Way the Hunter content in the last week or so, I've been trying my absolute best to manage these herds, and I've been seeing a lot of 3 and 4 stars up here. So, I think there's got to be better genetics from those that have passed down as they have died of old age. But, speaking of dying of old age, as silvery gray as this guy is, I think he was absolutely on his last leg anyway. That was a hard shot, actually. Couldn't do that again if we tried at that angle. As much as, like, the 308 and the 30 6 have become kind of our mainstays, not too bad going back to the 270 and doing that. 248 yards away and a 58% actually. So definitely good to get that guy out of there. I've generally been taxing the two-star matures just because they look decent. I really kind of like to fill the lodge and, and make it look a little bit less empty as we start to add five stars in. And hopefully the efforts that we're making right now on stuff like that is going to lead to future five stars to eventually replace them. And just look at the variety in the antler sizes. I don't know what this guy's doing. <laughs> like walking sideways is a one star mature, so maybe he's just getting old and doesn't know how to walk anymore. But this was the one thing with the Roosevelt elk. As much as I loved the five stars, they didn't feel special. It was like hunting black bear. They all looked the same. And I don't mean just the five stars look the same. I mean, basically everything that had those glitch racks looked the exact same. So it's going to be nice now for them to really stand out. But this dude's even laying down sideways. We'll just... I don't know how that works. Somehow he jumped up when we shot him, but we'll go ahead and take him out. Even stumbles sideways. That's the thing I've seen with like cow moose. I didn't know anything else had it, but it might be something to do with fast traveling when they're on a hill or something. I don't know why that would happen. Regardless, didn't stop us from being able to take him out and help out with that herd genetics. It was a lung and artery shot. And it must have been because he was at that weird angle that he just popped up immediately at the shot. 53%? I mean, he must have been a younger mature because he's still a kind of brown. But good to take that out. And we're now kind of into the rest time, right about 1 o'clock. So th I think what we'll do is actually head down into this area and just kind of wander around and see what we find. Well, this has not exactly been the most effective rest zone hunting. We're almost to 5 o'clock now, which is when animals are going to start to feed. And I think that's what these Sitka deer are doing. But we do have that one-star mature buck there, which... We may have to headshot to actually get, but we can do that. It's not really going to affect anything. Just don't want to hit that doe in the ear. Got the right deer, so that's a plus. And this, I don't think, is primary habitat for Sitka deer. I actually don't know what it is, but I'm guessing it would only be the rainforest area in the southeast. Highland forest is secondary, but primary is going to be rainforest, so nothing up here, I don't think, could ever get to five stars. So... Kind of just taking that out and hoping to maybe get things up to two or three star here. Would be nice, kind of like the caribou that we put in the lodge as a at least placeholder addition. 
And I suppose it's at least something to do as we pass the time, as this guy is laying in quite a puddle of blood. But we actually were just low? Or according to that, we hit the brain. Maybe just through the bottom? Either way, 16%? Worth getting out of any herd, regardless of whether or not there's going to be future 5 stars there. And I guess we'll just kind of work our way down the main river, since we weren't finding much to our west. And go figure, just about straight away we're onto a herd of moose, and I would say that guy, being a very obvious, uneven 1 star adult, is going to be a good one to take. But another thing in this patch that can very quickly be kind of forgotten about, is the fact that you can now range find animals properly again. Before, it would kind of go through them, so we'd be getting 240 where that hill is. But now we're getting him, obviously, where he actually is at 170. It's amazing how much you take that for granted. Because I basically forgot that that was ever an issue, but it's so important to be able to actually range them properly, not have to range the ground at their feet. Just those couple of things that were maybe the biggest issues with release. Is that where we shot? I really felt that we were way lower than that, but I guess it dropped him anyway. Interesting how that went, but either way, that was a 74%. This, I think, is actually the herd that we got our 5 star out of. So that's not entirely shocking, but obviously uneven. Hopefully the 1 star youngs that were in that herd are going to be better than that. And ideally, if that is the case, that will actually benefit the future offspring. And I would say, quite fittingly, what will most likely be our last kill before we rest to morning again is going to be another Rosevoid Elk, and maybe the smallest one-star mature I've ever seen. Hopefully he's going to allow a shot. That's still him there. Let's see. The wind, I... Well, maybe the wind didn't push it. It's not going right, but they kind of hit further right than we wanted. I thought I saw him maybe starting to stumble just behind the hills, so... Actually, we did get him. But definitely that's going to be like very front of the lungs. We kind of lucked out there. So all in all, not too bad. Ended up with a decent number of kills. And we only had a little bit of drink time to go. That was actually fine. I guess his leg was a little forward, but I really felt like we hit him basically in the shoulder. Either way, 292 yards, double lung shot with the 321%. Explains the size of the antlers considering he's a mature butt. Let's go back and rest two morning. And I think I want to wander down through this area again. Now, I could be mistaken, but I believe this guy just went from a two-star adult to a two-star mature. If this is the caribou I'm thinking of, an age cycle may have occurred, but he's still by far the best-looking one in this herd. And yet again, much like the first spot we checked out, we have an uneven one-star adult. So I think we'll go ahead and take him, and then maybe we'll still scoot over the hill and look down to the next area just in case this is the wrong herd. But let's get him. That worked very well. May have actually got some spine there. Got some red fox run off. We are kind of the end of their drink time too. But there's so many herds of caribou right in this area. If we just take our time, I wouldn't be shocked if we run into more. And at the very least, we can probably go and check out that herd of bison. So that guy was just double long shot at 128. 57%, so maybe we're getting somewhere. I kind of think... Like, all these herds around here should count as, like, highland forest herds, which that's one of the primary habitats for them. That's something I'm really trying to kind of understand on this map, but I can only imagine stuff like this would be highland forest. And we do actually have a couple of different two-star matures, so I guess we'll just try to get the front one. Might as well take that out while we have the sort of opening as one's walking past it, but she just kind of squeeze that between the others. That appears to be a lot of blood, and I don't know if that's the one because I don't see any more. Not sure what direction you went, but we'll figure it out. And it's not exactly overly challenging when they end up going down on the road. In the meantime, I don't know if these are the same caribou or another herd. Because they're off the water, I kind of think it may be them again, though I don't see that bigger one, so that's evidently not the case, and that is a pretty pathetic one-star mature, so Let's just go ahead, try to get him as well. Bit of a weird angle, but I think that'll do just fine for the sake of it. We'll make sure we get him, though I think he was starting to stumble. And if that could have worked out any better, I don't know how that could have been. They're literally like 10 yards apart. This guy has got to be one of the lowest 
genetic potential caribou we've shot. We did get a long shot there, so we'd have been fine. 14%. I think I have had like a 12% in this area, but not a whole lot of ones below 20. As for this guy, fairly gray, so I think one that was not going to get anywhere near 5 star. 53% is not terrible, though. Good number of credits from that stuff. And I think before we get too far down the line in the drink time, I want to mind jumping to the Southeast Island, especially because I'm still unsure if an age cycle has just occurred or not. And speaking of that, in the process of trying to kind of learn what all the new patch brought to the game, I was walking around the Southeast Island and ended up finding something pretty cool. There is a lot of antler in a small area here, and I really just love that the elk antlers have been fixed, because we look at these different racks, they're all different, which you didn't see before. All of the like four stars and five stars had the same rack, but this one, for instance, looks a lot like a Rocky Mountain. That said, this guy has reached five stars, whereas these two are still fours. The one to the left is kind of more of a brown color. They both might have a chance, but this guy is ready to be taken out right now. Naturally, he is kind of turning, but we'll hit him there while he is at least semi-broadside. He looks to me bigger than the two that we've shot. We have a 484 and a 485, I think. But again, as I said, I think it wasn't actually only the youngs and adults that were broken. I think even the big ones, even the trophies, all kind of had the same rack. So that'll be interesting. Now going forward, as the racks have been fixed, kind of seeing what other possibilities are out there for five-star antlers, because I'll admit I was kind of under the impression that the only ones that you would see were the racks that we were getting prior to this fix, but I definitely think that guy had a unique rack, and we definitely smoked him, so hopefully he's not going too far. And he most certainly did not. I mean, maybe like 150 yards? Which is not bad considering we sort of took a quartering angle, but definitely I think this is the biggest looking 5-star we've shot, so let's take a look here. The angle was a little bit odd, so we only got a little bit of the right lung and primarily the left lung there, but 92%, actually lower than I would have thought and lower than the two that we have taken so far, but a total score of 473, which actually would make him the smallest, actually, of the three five-stars we've shot. That said, I still think he looks bigger than the others. It will be interesting to compare. I would guess they keep the same mailers, even if maybe they were bugged before. Let's go back and take a look. Now, are we really going to be able to tell? I don't know, but I think it's like the frame. So if we throw this guy over here, actually where we had our first five-star elk, which at least makes it simple to get him there, like it's kind of wider set. He's even clipping through the ceiling, which the other one was not. It could just be the shape of the frame, but I really do think that one's a little bit bigger. Now again, I think these antlers were bugs, so maybe they were meant to be smaller looking 5 stars, but that's super encouraging. We most certainly seem to have pretty solid elk genetics on our map, and I kind of think that's the case for most people. I see lots of 5 star Roosevelt's posted, but it'll be nice to really strive to get more. By the way, the Ivory Tines on this guy, like we got one with maybe comparable Ivory Tines, but I don't know, I think this one's even better, like these Brow Tines? are incredible. And for that reason, we're already gonna move them because I did not like that clipping. I really, like, you just get a perfect look at those brow tines from down here. That is really, really nice. I don't know if that's gonna stay there because I was hoping to do maybe like mountain goats or even a Kodiak bear there at some stage. I do like it. It suits, like, the frame and everything just really fills that space nicely. He may end up staying there, but I just... I love the, the shape of that frame compared to the other ones, much more vertical beams. This kind of has like an out and up look that really, really looked good. And so that then begs the question, are the other four star elk from this herd still going to be four stars? I do see a big set of antlers right there. I don't know, that is a four star still. Which is interesting, that may mean that was another herd of caribou. As I said, there's so many down there, but it, it's just, like, just the difference between these two elk, it was something you didn't see before, so I just think going for five-star elk or hunting elk in general 
is going to be that much better, but we'll try to confirm. I think they're both four stars. Maybe one of these will be an obvious call bull. Actually, that guy, he is quite uneven, so I say before he does too much intermingling with the rest, we'll just drop him and maybe can get even more five stars out of this herd. I have decent hope for at least the bigger of those two four stars, if not both. Wouldn't be the first time in Way the Hunter that we've seen two five star bulls hit five star at the same time in the same herd. We had it over on Nez Perce twice, I think. And maybe it'll happen here on Aurora Shores. Speaking of Nez Perce, I think sometime in the fairly near future, we're going to head back there. There were a couple of whitetail that were getting close to five star that I think we should take a look at. But this guy we lung and liver shot, 61%. So compared to the other ones in this herd, probably good to take out. And maybe then, now that we know, now we can stay on the Southeast Island. There is a lake with Sika deer down here that may be worth visiting. And of course, this is always the difficulty with something that is like a future potential five star. We have a three star mature Sitka here. He was a two star adult. And I want to say both of the bugs that were in this herd previously died at four star mature. So I'm hoping that maybe he's got those same genetics. What about that is back there? Because that's not a very impressive buck. It's a one star young though, in which case maybe it is because we've seen like one star adult Sitka deer that are spikes or even one star matures. So I guess we got to leave him too. But you can bet we'll be back here in the hopefully fairly near future checking on these guys once again. So maybe we can run into something else before we wrap up. So I thought maybe we should actually try an area that we've not been to before. And we've got a one-star mature caribou coming in. There were some others that he was with, but he's the only one responding to a low fitness call. So I'd say that's a plus. Not exactly going to be one we'd even want to put on the wall, but if we can just kind of pop that guy and drop him in his tracks, I think that'll be our last kill to hunt. This is up the like far eastern creek, by the way, which there's a fair number of caribou up here, and I guarantee there's more zones up through there that we haven't discovered. So I think that's a spot that we should be looking at as well. Once we've kind of figured out where the zones are, they're not that bad to hunt. Like, there's some bends and stuff, but you can see pretty far down the creeks and kind of figure out where they're at. But anyway, as for this guy, not going to be like the 14%er we shot earlier. Did get the heart shot at least. And still a 35%, so pretty low. And considering everything else ignored the call, that's got to be a pretty big improvement. They should all be above 50%, so good one to get. And I know we already saw the elk earlier, but we'll jump back, take a look at him again, and throw the earlier two-star mature caribou on the wall as well. You know, I kind of like what the caribou look like on the pedestal mount, so we may do more of that. But it's just really nice to get to see some variety in the elk antlers. And this guy is, by score, our smallest. But I think not only does he look bigger than the others, he's just got by far the best antlers. Those ivory tines going all the way out look really really nice we did have the one back here that also had the ivory but i just think the newer one is a little bit better and like these frames are more kind of v-shaped whereas this guy's almost got like a u going on it's notably different and i think we're gonna see a lot of that now that the antlers have been fixed so looking forward to continuing more out here on aurora shores as well as nespers sometime in the near future but for now that's gonna do it for this video so as always thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.